to me, the, the word truce is the full extent of Kansas City. I mean, there's so many words that come to mind, but like if, if you just take a drive up, up Troost from one end to the other, you get a, a, a snapshot, and that's all it is, is a snapshot, but you do get a quick little snapshot of the entirety of Kansas City. Truce is a historic demarcation of where white folk and black folk could or couldn't live. And it is not longer officially a segregation line, but it's still unofficially still a very segregated area. The issues of truce are a, a microcosm of a lot of the issues of racial injustice uh, in Kansas City through history. The conference is um, part of what's going to be a 10-year plan. We have um, uh, Jean Buchanan has given us monies to create a Buchanan initiative for peace and nonviolence. We want to look at systemic issues involving the economy, involving health care, involving education, neighborhoods. This is one piece to what will be many activities that build on peace and nonviolence. So, where, where is We wanted to do something small and very specific and connected to Kansas City. We discovered that people love their neighborhoods. How many live in Hyde Park, Square Park, Center City, Hyde Park, Manheim Park? The importance of this conference is it's an important subject in and of itself, but it also very clearly carries on the, uh, the values, the mission, and the legacy of the Catholic sisters who founded Avila University. In, in the Peace Studies class, we show a video about the Truth and Reconciliation process in South Africa that occurred after apartheid. And yet, as a country, they tore that system down through a, a process of restorative justice. If they could come to restorative justice, if they could find a way to work together, then, then we can. <laughs>